So this section is using the counting principle, which just means we're finding the individual probabilities and then we're multiplying them. So we have six people, two, three, four, five, six, and they're all running for office. There's three positions to fill. So think about the first position. How many people are there that could fill that position? Six, right? Okay, so six people. Now there's just five. Okay, so now we're gonna go to our second position. How many people are left to fill that position? Five. So one's gone. And then now we're at our third position. How many people are left to fill that position? Four. So remember the counting principle means to multiply. So I'm gonna take six times five times four. And that is the number of outcomes. So there's 120 outcomes for that. Okay, how many license plate combinations are possible if you can use three letters and two digits? Letters and numbers cannot be repeated. Okay, so think of a license plate. We have a letter. We have a letter. We have a letter. I didn't leave enough room, so they're just gonna get smaller. Digit, digit. Okay, they cannot be repeated. This is important. So first thing, how many letters are there? How many options do we have? A, B, C, D, all the way up to Z, that's 26 letters but they cannot be repeated. So now my next letter, how many options are there? Not 26, because what if it's A and then A? We can't repeat, so 25. Then we have another letter, but we can't repeat, and two are already gone, so 24. Okay, now digits. Digits are numbers. Digits, numbers. So how many options are there there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Okay, there's 10 options, but we can't repeat. So on our next one, there's only nine. Okay, remember counting principle just means multiply. So now we have all of our options there. We're gonna times them out. 26 times 25 times 24 times 10 times nine. 1,404,000 different combinations with those letters and numbers. Last one, make a tree diagram to show all the possible outcomes and then determine how many outfit outcomes are possible with the choice of three pairs of pants, four shirts, and four pairs of shoes, and three pairs of shoes. So a tree diagram starts with your first thing. We're gonna have pants. Okay, so we would say pant one, pant two, pant three. And with those different pants, now we have options. There's four shirts for every pair of pants. So shirts, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then it just gets bigger, it grows like a tree. That's why we call it a tree diagram. For each pair of pants and shirts, now there's three pairs of shoes. So from each shirt, there's gonna be one, two, three. Those are shoe options. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm running out of room. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And these branches, if I would have drawn with more room, would really look like a tree. So if you go into your examples, you can probably see a better one. So our outcomes are how many branches are at the very end. So we would count 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, three times. So 12 plus 12 plus 12 is 36. And the shortcut way to do that is to use the counting principle where we just multiply our options. Three pants, four shirts, three shoes. Three times four is 12 times three, 36.